That's a bullseye. Same hole. Yep. That's dirty, dude. We are gonna go after some doll sheep. We got our gear on the on the beach, packed up, ready to go. And uh, now it's time for the the hike. So we got about seven seven ish miles. It kind of depends on where we find a place to stop as our uh, our hike in to kind of get into sheep country and. It looks like it's going to be thick to start, but it should open up. It's a beautiful sunny morning today. We're going to head up that direction after we're done with breakfast. Streams like this guy right here, they don't look like much, but man, you can live off these things. So I'm just doing a little water run right now. I've got my, my Nalgene in a water bag. Just going to fill up some water and uh, take it up the mountain there. We are making the ascent up into where the sheep live. It is a, it's a grind. You just gotta go keep going and take a few breaks here and there. There's not really enough food to snack all the way up, so you just gotta kinda keep it, keep it light, grind. These poles are awesome. And uh, yeah, just one foot after another. And these sheep could just be right over the edge of this ridge too. I mean, there's no telling where they could be. So we always have to be careful and be quiet and stealthy. So we're just loving it. It's beautiful. Boy, it sure does sore legs good to walk around up here without pack on. Yes, it does. You just kind of loose and grip a little bit. Yeah. Yes, it does. So you wear your pack in the office. Yeah. Hiking down the shale, it's always fun. Hiking back up is usually the tricky part. I saw a little creek down here that looks like it's got some water in it, so we've got to haul water back up so we can stay up on the mountain and uh, and be comfortable up there and eat our mountain houses and have drinking water while we watch these rams. It's a beautiful thing right there. Beautiful thing. That looks like a good spot. Awesome stuff. Fresh spring water. Doesn't get any better than that. Oh. Well, on my way up, back from the water, water haul. Getting a little bit hungry. Got some sweet views here. It's beautiful. You earn your steps up here. This is some steep stuff. <sighs> Got a little bit of ways to go. I'm almost at the summit. And then back to camp and maybe have a little lunch. I'm gonna enjoy that. up at the top of the mountain right now 
staring at different groups of sheep just trying to figure out which one um, has a target that we can go after we're looking for a really good ram so we're at the top it doesn't get any better than this it's just a fantastic view it's beautiful up here perfect weather readout is right there it's a uh, second tallest volcano on the Alaska Peninsula so it's big covered in snow super clear this is my guy there's a lot of wind coming out of this canyon right here so my baby shelter I got a uh I got a sick guitar. I got my I got a marmot baby and yeah just a wiggy's ultralight bag I'm using for my sheep set up. I got my in reach hanging right there. Got all my stuff here. Yeah, let's see, I'm kind of just laying down before bed, but this eight, eight by 10 tarp's got enough room for two guys or um, one guy and stuff. And Perfect. It keeps me out of the weather. It's a good little deal. All right, we slept on the mountain last night. Um, found some sheep yesterday. Found some rams yesterday afternoon, and. We've just been kind of watching them, and so we're kind of in the ballpark uh, right now. They're in some pretty serious country. Yeah, got a couple rams up on that little ridge right there. Saw some more yesterday there. Watch him through the scope. Getting a little video. Dreaming about a 1800 yard shot. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. We're gonna keep watching them. There's a couple of rams that look pretty good um, that we need a closer look to see if they're, they're shooters or not. So we're just gonna kinda Keep looking, keep looking around. I got some other stuff to look at behind us. Yeah, that little bear, he's looking for his brother, isn't he? We're looking at a black bear uh, down the valley floor just where we went and got water today. Mm -hmm. Saw a, a, uh, a grizzly bear earlier today, and now we uh, we picked up this black bear. He's just mowing, mowing down blueberry patches like nobody's business right now. He's getting fat. He's gonna get ready to hibernate. Lunchtime on the mountain. We got a little hot water. We are pigging out. I've had some salami and one little instant Starbucks cup. It's These reservations are hard to come by up here. <laughs> he still doesn't want to come up. Got a couple of those guys right there we're watching. This time of day. Uh -huh. This is when they moved from the snow. Last night it was like 8 10 when they started moving from the snow. And it's 8 49. Just laying down, but there's a guy on this ridge that wants to give me a good look at him. 
And she doesn't want to play ball yet. There he goes. Having our uh, gourmet dinner here, <laughs> um, little mountain house overlooking the little sheep and bear bowl. We had quite the <laughs> quite the bear uh, viewing today down below. We had a a sow and a couple cubs and two male bears having some domestic disputes. So, <laughs> but we're gonna enjoy some dinner. We got some mountain house here boiling, and um, got of course the necessary items, optics to uh, watch, have a nice little dinner with a view. There we go. Dinner time in sheep country. Dang, this wind, huh? Hmm. It's like, just enough. I got a pretty good look there, though. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. You need him to move closer. Yeah. Yeah, we need him to be closer, I think. We are walking. This is kind of our day to get into the mountains. We are gonna camp right here. We just got a bunch of water. Oh, that first first couple hikes are good, man. Um, it's kind of cool. Just uh, saw that dude. <laughs> that shed will be left there if anybody wants it contact me i'll tell you where to get it i'm not putting that on my back so, love sheep hunting it's the ultimate it's the ultimate test to get to the top to get to the the really hard places where these sheep live um so we're just coming out of the alpine right now and it's just a it's a fantastic day we've got rained on um a few times hiking up but we got some time we can dry out Eat some mountain house, get to know each other a little bit. It's fun, man. Guiding sheep, hunting sheep. There's nothing else like it. getting out of tree line now um kind of the hardest part uh getting above tree line and um really up in the true alpine the footing is always a little bit better you can see kind of behind me they mainly just just rocks slate pretty good footing walking sticks are important in this kind of country just because uh, things do have a tendency to slide so 
Uh, we're going to get up and be up in the sheep here in a, in a little bit and, and be glassing and trying to find some big rams. But sheep hunting is, a, is all about a process. You know, it's, it's a very strategic style of hunting. You can't just throw your backpack on and go. You have to really analyze the terrain and the sheep country itself, what you plan on hunting, the miles that you plan on walking, and just have a really a, a, a well put together plan because if you don't, it makes your life very, very difficult hunting them, guiding them, and it can also be dangerous. So I've got a full day and a night of food maybe a little breakfast depends on how we push it so if we see sheep up here we're spiking out we've got a bivy sack um i always bring my my z rest uh thermo rest mattress for this reason i can put it on rocks i can put it anywhere it keeps me warm i can sit on it just like this while i'm glassing but we got bivy sacks we left our sleeping bags we left most of our stuff down there so we can stay light and climb we're gonna do about 2,000 feet today uh, of elevation and so we we wanted to stay light so yeah that's our plan we're gonna go go up in glass hopefully be up there in a couple hours up to the top and find some sheep and we live for it it's the toughest hunt you'll ever do it's I'm really hungry right now and I'm not gonna eat for a while so um, but it's awesome The three rams that we were watching, they uh, they were on this mountain. We were planning to come here today to put a stock on them. But then last night they decided to go over to the, that mountain. They're just feeding up on that ridge right now. So we are on a little walkabout journey here. So we've got to cover some ground and get to where they are. They're not visible right now, but they just decided to get up and walk away. That's what sheep do. They just kind of, they walk these ridge lines and sometimes they'll stick around for a couple days. Sometimes they won't. So we're gonna keep after it, keep hiking, keep hunting hard. Just waiting for these rams to get up. They bedded down in this snow patch right over there. And uh, they're just out of view, so we've been waiting here for about five hours. Um, waiting them to get up and ID them, see if one of them is a shooter or not. And then, uh, and then if not, we are gonna trek around, see if we can find some other sheep that are worth looking at. This is sheep hunting, sitting and waiting. Sitting and waiting. <laughs> sitting and waiting. After a nice stroll up the mountain. Yeah, up and down and all kinds of elevation on sheep trails with a loaded camp. So we're gonna hang on for another couple hours maybe and see what we can do. While well, we're coming down the mountain, um, just didn't find a ram big enough um, and so we're going to try to drop down and just kind of get to this other mountain range to see what we can see it takes a lot of energy to get up here so hopefully our relocation we can dig up some more um, big rams you know the rams that we were on one of them was he was good he was big but just not not quite big enough for um 
for what we're looking for. So, yeah, this is it. It doesn't really get any better than this, though. Waking up on the top of a mountain and then hiking to the next one. It's pretty fun. No other hunt requires this much energy, this much hiking. And that's why we hunt doll sheep, you know? It's the ultimate test to your endurance, your strength, your mental toughness. Because you gotta climb mountains, period. That's it. There's no way around it. You gotta climb and you gotta be up where these sheep live. And that's that's it. There's no uh there's no shortcuts when you're sheep hunting. And win or lose when you're sheep hunting, it is addictive. Nothing can be really described accurately unless you're up there and you do it. And you've got to do it. You've got to try it. You've got to push yourself to the next level and, and earn it. Got a little family coming. Check us out. sheep country. Ptarmigan are these little uh, Alaskan birds. They're pretty awesome. They taste great. They're like a grouse. You can get right up close to them. But I only want to kill one if we're in a dire situation. If we need to really get some food. And I could. Uh, they're really tame. I can take one out with one of my trekking poles or a rock. So um, they're right behind me. They're just kind of sticking three or four feet ahead of me. This whole time just kind of hanging out with them. I ran into a couple groups and... I'm gonna get some video of them just so you can see. Yeah, they're pretty cool little birds. They, uh, they're pretty camouflaged right now with their coloring and in the winter they'll turn white and they'll be really, really, really cool. But yeah. Uh, I mean, you practically have to step on them before you see them. You can kind of see them running up that drainage. We're gonna keep hiking. We have to get to the top of that saddle and then we're gonna hike up another mountain and try to get to another place to camp and a place to see tons of sheep country. So that's our goal. And uh, we're gonna keep moving and, and let these ptarmigan be and let them hang out around us. They're not gonna be a, a dinner or lunchtime snack today. All right, we peeled off the mountain today, camping down a little bit lower in the, in the blueberries. Came down off that point. It's quite the uh, descent. Saw a big black bear. Actually, saw a couple big black bears. We are finally not sleeping in the rocks, which is awesome. We're both pretty excited about that. Got my little shelter set up already. This tundra with the blueberries and all that stuff, it's like a pillow. And especially when you're sleeping on the rocks, been sleeping in rocks the last few nights, it's gonna feel like the Hilton. got up on this ridge line we're kind of in a pretty rough little area we are on it's like a knife edge ridge and there's some pretty not friendly traversing through here so 
but we have seen some some rams or the big one that he's a couple days away i think and then uh a couple rams closer by one of them was feeding some pretty cool little like mountain lakes right here you can see that little lake and so we may skip drainages pop over can't buy one of these little lakes but it's kind of tough to tell right now some of this some of this terrain you need definitely need ropes and stuff like that so we're just gonna see what we can do make the best of it like i said we're seeing rams it's a good spot and uh one's one is a big ram too far pretty much too far another one is on the bubble so we might try to go look at him he looked good but i was still 2500 yards out from him so we might try to get close and that's a day and a half uh traverse over this over this hillside and i don't think he's alone he's like a six-year-old ram so hopefully he's got some older buddies hanging out with him so but yeah this is sheep hunting we're just up here in it man we're, we're loving it up here just unbelievable sights you can see all around us are just you know really cool just just awesome to be up here up in where the sheep live got these <clears throat> two bigger rams up on this ridge line right here and uh they're in a pretty protected area like most doll sheep like to live it's pretty rugged you kind of see pretty serious lot of country between us right now but we're getting a good look at them and uh the weather seems to be holding out so i think for sure one of them is is a shooter the other one's kind of on the edge. I need to get a good look at him here, but they got to probably do something and move for us to go after them. Um, we're just a little too far and right into some nasty. We need like a helicopter, which is not legal, or a lot of ropes and climbing gear, which is not safe. So we're just sheep hunting, hanging out, watching sheep. Rams right up on that little ridge right there. We got, we'll watch them right here. We're kind of battling some fog right now. We've been hiking for uh, four or five hours just straight up and uh yeah so we kind of got you can kind of see you got some fog kind of setting in which is which is really tough for uh sheep hunting you kind of gotta wait you can't go hiking up into it because you'll just end up bumping sheep and spooking them and they can still see you even though the, that you can't see them in the fog so we're gonna keep hiking and uh, try to get to our uh, kind of a base camp. We'll get a base camp set up that we can hunt out of um, daily and uh, get by some water. I think I just see some sheep over there on that further mountain. So I'm going to look at them real quick. All right. Um, I'll keep you posted. We're in sheep country now. We got a little spring that's right by our, uh, right coming out of the mountain. It's real close to camp, so it's really, really sweet. We don't have to drop down a thousand feet just to restock water. So you can see behind me and all this stuff. It's all just beautiful sheep country. We're, we're up high right now, kind of at the base, the foothills of this, uh, of this range. So it gives us an idea. You can see there's a valley there. We're we're within striking distance. Um, if a sheep comes down, 
it's kind of where we want to be um, and if we see a sheep we can go after it. just be quite a bit of a hike we're about a day hike from if we see a sheep on these on these mountains here so it just gives us a little bit of time and uh, you know hopefully the weather holds out for us it's been kind of foggy and rainy and stuff like that but we're in the right spot that's where we need to be camp set up here down there in the valley there's a little there's a little tiny little dripping little spring that's coming out of the mountain that we're living off of right now and um, behind us it's kind of in the fog right now in the clouds but we are in sheep country so we're kind of up we've got a bunch of elevation and uh, all the surrounding mountains are just awesome sheep sheep country so Hopefully the fog will hold out and uh, give us some chance to look and find a big one. So, all right, we're gonna go have some dinner. totally relocated camp we got a beat on these rams that we saw yesterday they're big one of them's good i'm gonna show you a clip of them right now and they're about 2500 yards away from us but they're up high on this cliff that i don't think we can get to um let me show you they're like up in there and uh there's just no way to get to them but we did see them drop down yesterday. We're just gonna basically wait on them to drop down. And when they do that, we are gonna go for it. We know for sure one ram is good. He's big, both of them are big. Um, one of them's a little bit bigger. So right now we're just uh, trying to escape the rain. And um, I'm making a little MSR reactor coffee for my for one of my meals of the day today um, so yeah we're just we're excited this is where you want to be when you're sheep hunting you know we've got the rams located they haven't really moved in a couple of days other than dropping down to get water and, and, and feed so hopefully our plan is going to play out and it'll work out when they drop down we go for it so we've got a great place to watch them you know all day long and uh, so hopefully it works out. Probably here we are getting hammered with rain right now. We just got set up to our new camping area uh, to watch these rams and uh, just started coming down on us. And that's part of sheep hunting. You're never without your rain gear. And if you're in a spot you get to camp, get your camp set up quickly because you never know when it's gonna just come down. So we, we rushed and got our camp set up immediately and uh basically just as we were done it started coming down so everything definitely got wet so yeah it's just a part of part of sheep hunting rain is is a part of it and weather is a part of hunting in alaska and you just you have to know how to deal with it you have to know how to just overcome it's not the end of the world if you get wet that's why i always have everything in dry bags and i have extra dry bags for my clients and just to make sure that nothing the essentials don't get wet. A lot of my uh, smaller things I have organized in these mini, mini dry bags. I don't know, they call them ditty bags. There's a bunch of little names for them, but with this, and then, uh, I mean, a, a few different brands make these. I really like these granite gear ones. And I've got, they come in different colors. And that's kind of how I know what's in them. I got like my charging stuff. I got like my, my big charger. My electronics, I have like cleaning, lens cleaning stuff in one, it's smaller. I've got a, uh, I've got a bivy, a bivouac in this guy, 
sheep hunting is not a hunt where you can bring the kitchen sink, you know, it's not a hunt where you bring your iPad and your extra pair of boots and three pairs of underwear and three, you know, it's really not one of those type of hunts. You gotta have everything down razor sharp and not bring in anything extra. What I like extra is socks. And having a good sock regimen, especially when you're doing a lot of hiking, keeping dry socks, that's important. Extra pair of underwear, that's up to you. Extra pants, absolutely not. If you have rain pants, that can be your extra pair of pants. And I actually have double, so I have these like puffy pants are awesome. So I definitely don't need an extra pair of pants and I don't recommend anyone extra pair of pants. I do bring some long underwear, but I could probably leave those, leave those at home. An extra hoodie is important. They're really light and like I said, when you get when you drench them, either sweating or raining or whatever, um, it's super nice just to throw a dry one on and get cozy and, and get warm. That's really important. If your pants get soaked, you can always take those off. Put your put your dry long underwear on, or put your dry puffy pants on, or your even your rain gear on. That's not that big of a deal. But so one extra shirt, and I love these hoodies um, because they keep the bugs out this time of year. It's, when it gets a little colder in September, you don't really have that issue. But these bugs have been crazy, so we wrap it up and just put some bug dope just on my face. And so that's really handy to keep the bugs off. Uh, that's pretty much how how I like to roll. Um, I roll a little bit heavier than some guys because I got, I got cameras. Um, nothing fancy, but I have charger. I've got a... Uh, I use a different phone to for my phone scope. I've got a GoPro. Um, I've got a backup iPhone 10 um, just for storage. And then uh, I've got this real lightweight tripod. I, I, I like this tripod. It's uh, the Manfrotto B3. I like it because it's got the fluid head. It's, it's, it's just at the right level to accommodate the BTX. The BTX is kind of a beast and you really got to crank down to uh, to lock it down tight but it can do it. It's really light um, better than than a lot of lightweight tripods so I'm very happy with that. Some other uh, important pieces of gear as my inReach hits me in the face. InReaches are awesome. Um, they connect to your phone and you can text out locations, text family members, text um, anything for safety. It's really, really good for safety. And it uses satellites, so wherever you're at, you can usually connect. It's really good in lieu of a uh, sat phone. I've got this uh, Sitka tarp, which is pretty sweet. I've used it as a shelter when it's warm. And. Um, pretty clear nights. It's awesome for that and for keeping stuff dry. Less is more. You know, it, the essentials are so important because it adds up and it's not really necessarily the weight, but it's the bulk. You start adding a lot of bulk. It's like, man, you can't, you don't have a whole lot of room in your pack. My boots are, are um, I don't know, these are legit. I love these boots, but I'm wearing the toe out. I wear the toe out on all my, my boots because I, I kind of kick into the mountain. So that's kind of, I'm going to have to doctor those up in a little bit, but I like those Lost Sportivas. They're pretty sweet. They fit my feet really well. I like to have two water bottles. Uh, this is a big one. It's kind of like if you're, if you, if we got to jet up a mountain and we got to leave camp and I just roll with my Vivi and like a tarp, it's, you can have one of these for cooking or extra water and then do your normal one for drinking. So it's kind of a, it's a really good backup water uh, supply. I've also packed a, a water bag that's, I got six liters in it right now. So yeah, that's pretty much my gear overall, what I, what I got going. Everything else is kind of, you know, just various dry bags. All right, well. That's my gear. One piece of equipment too that's honestly indispensable when you're sheep hunting is these guys. You gotta have Crocs. They weigh nothing. 
to give your feet like the ultimate vacation. You need to have your boots off when you're putting on miles, your feet heat up, you get start getting hot spots, whatever it is. Pop your croc, pop your boots off, get in the crocs to keep your feet dry and rested and elevated hopefully if you get a place to sit down. So crocs don't elevate your feet, but you get the idea. They're really, really awesome. So all right, well, that's it. All right, so we got a lot of rain last night. When we woke up, the rams had kind of made their way down a little bit, kind of where that snow patch is. And now they're really dropping down. So what we did, we broke camp. Um, we've already got camp broken down. We're going to roll. So um, we're just going to roll down. We're going to set up camp at the bottom. We're going to go try to put a stock on these on these rams right now because they're going to be in a shootable position uh, very soon and it'll take us probably an hour hour and a half to get over there so it's go time um this is what we've been waiting for so we've been kind of hunting these these two rams for four or five days just waiting for the right opportunity and it's here so we're gonna go we're gonna go for it um yeah so we're just gonna drop off this edge quick set up some tents so we can drop most of our gear and keep it dry all right keep you posted You hit him, just wait, just wait, you hit him. He's good, he's good, he's good, just, no, you're good, you're good, just wait. No, you're fine, you're fine, just wait, he's, you hit him good. You hit him good. Yeah, I'm good. He's going. He's good. He's good. Good. I'm not touching. Too. Okay. You see that blood? You see that blood spot? He's going to go down. Well, that's a long haul. That is a long haul. I am. I 
fucking shaking. We worked our butts off. We came from way back over there. Oh, sheep hunting is a is a serious deal, man. It comes down to the wire. And he's down. He's good. He's expiring. We're going to let his buddies just kind of wander off. <sighs> Made a, I mean, this has been a, a four-day stock, basically, in sheep country. Just camp to camp to camp, getting closer and getting closer. And um, It all came together. It worked out. Uh, we had about a 290-yard shot. And he put it right in the money zone, right in the lungs. And uh, we're both, we just, we can't be happy right now. It's just fantastic. So we're going to go get our packs, come back, and uh, then the work begins. So. <clears throat> oh, God, I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank this you. This is good, good stuff. Thank you. This is good stuff. I am shaking like a bowl of jelly. Yeah. I am shaking. Look at that. Oh, man. If I had to shoot right now, I could shoot. Uh, oh, my God, I'm shaking. Yeah, this is good. We're just going to hang out for a little bit, but we're in sheep country, man. This is fantastic. Thank you, Tim. Worked hard for this. Uh. All right, we got to the Ram, taking some pics. He's awesome. Um, exactly what we thought, probably better than what we thought. And uh, Brendan hit him awesome with his first shot. It was uh, kind of a lower third shot. Got his lungs, as you can kind of see in the video. And uh, yeah, it was, it was beautiful. About 290 yard shot. And uh, as you can see, he's, uh, he's the real deal, so. We're super happy. We've got a long way to go in the next couple of days to get out of here. This stuff is not friendly right here. This is it, but at least we don't have to put on our crampons or uh, climbing ropes. So, but yeah, so this is doll sheep hunting. This is camped in five different spots, just rolled and rolled and rolled and finally got close enough to, to make a play on this dude. And uh, we waited for him. Um, he was, he was up on this, these cliffs up here and he was up there all day and never came down. And we were just, our plan was to wait. And when he came down, we were going to just get everything, get our whole camp and just roll and try to make it happen. Just throw the dice and, and, uh, just go for it. And we did it and Brendan made an awesome shot and, uh, he's going to talk a little bit right now. So we, uh, saw him first thing this morning and made a game plan, broke camp, and uh, hauled out after him. Got within 700 yards and got back down, snuck around the rocks on the side of him and uh, popped up and they were about 300 yards. Got a little bit closer to the 280 yard shot. Tim put me in the perfect position perfect shot and uh we ended up getting them and uh beyond grateful beyond happy and uh excited to show uh everybody back home and back at camp so no this is awesome this is why you do it so thank you so much tim and uh bushwhacker i uh am beyond happy cool thank awesome. you thank you yeah man this country i just i can't get over just being up in this country i love it i'm like a obsessed with pictures and these thinking pics are just check, check them out i mean they're just they're what well, the thing oh. is is pictures say a thousand words yeah they're just, I mean, the, the picture is just unbelievable. Well, I want to get a picture with with you and I and definitely yeah. transfer that. Or Oh, yeah. Was it what you expected, hunting sheep up in this nasty country or what? Yeah, it was definitely, it wasn't easy. <laughs> There's nothing easy about it, but it, the reward is right here. Yeah, This is worth beautiful it. round. This is cool. Brendan's got his victory 
horn strapped to his pack and I'm gonna finish my cup of cold brew and oh, we're gonna get after it. Awesome. Be sad to leave this country, it's just beautiful. Just awesome, rugged and just very unique. our camp right there Let's see it all right we are packing out now so I got Brendan down below and we're gonna go pick up our camp you can kind of see it it's like right there camping down the bottom of this valley and we're gonna try to make it to our pickup point tonight hopefully um, It'd definitely be uh we're gonna push it try to do it try to make it to the make it to the pickup spot and uh, hopefully everything goes good we get camp wrapped up and all like that everybody stays good it's awesome i hate to leave this country it's beautiful but it's always better leaving with the ram and meat on your back than leaving empty going in light coming out heavy that's there's nothing better than that so we're gonna keep trudging along and Break camp down and roll. Well, we spent the day trudging the creek. We've been hiking for two days uh, straight, full packs. We are just about out of here. We're about a mile and a half from freedom. And uh, we had to we had to hold up here on this little ridge um, over this creek. We just could not make it to the pickup point in in a safe manner. And uh, so we are wet. We got our clothes hanging. We got our all kinds of stuff, sleeping bags, all kinds of stuff hanging out. We got a big alder fire going, and just hanging out, enjoying this. Uh, hopefully, our last evening up on the mountain and and uh our sheep sheep hunt so it's pretty pretty fun stuff doesn't get any better than that we're dry we're safe we're healthy we got, we got a fire we're gonna survive he's rolling up d3 Yeah, dude. Well, <laughs> welcome to the mountain hell that we have here, dude. Oh. Stay dry until about. Turtle. <laughs> I've never, I've, I haven't done that this trip. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, check out this. Look at this. Look at this one, dude. How you doing? Good. Congratulations. Thank you. It's a hell of a sheep. That's what he says. Look at that. Stupid, dude. You didn't have to think twice about that one. No. Oh. All right, we're hiking out. Gary came and helped us out on this last leg of the journey. He, he came up and met us and took some of the load for us. He's got the sheep, loving life. We're just rocking and rolling, being safe, just wet wading down this river. Only in Alaska. Kind of weave around the rocks, whatever you can do. Just trying to be real safe here. Everything's real slick. We're all carrying big packs. Biggest thing right now is just safety, one step at a time. So 
We're getting there. Well, we got out of the creek for a little bit. Now we're busting through of the alders. But we're doing good, everybody's safe. All good. Hit some dry ground. We can see where our pickup point is. It's awesome. These guys are trucking along. I gotta pack. Full, we're all pretty heavy right now. Just to, happy to be out of the creek for a little while. It's into some decent walking. made it down. We retrieved for two and a half days basically. Got to a little spot where we can hopefully be picked up. Weather's kind of crappy right now so we may have to wait. But... All right. yeah. Well, we made it down to the lake that we were supposed to get picked up on. Uh, man, it's been a three day adventure, hiking through rivers and crazy mountains. We killed the sheep way back in there and getting a fire going, we're a little wet, it's raining, weather's not optimal right now, but we're just hanging out, getting our gear uh, kind of dry and undercover and just waiting, waiting for a plane. Sheep hunting in Alaska, it's pretty awesome. It's always an adventure. Let's cast iron. Sure. Gary's Dutch oven. Dutch skillet. Dutch skillet, yeah. Well, we're having a little sheep barbecue while we wait for the plane here. Gary's got it dialed in. He's got meat on a stick, dialed, got awesome coals. Brennan just chilling. We're just having a good, a good time waiting for this weather to kind of calm down. Sheep is good. Thank you for this awesome, beautiful sheep. And uh, we just pray for safe delivery to the lodge whenever that happens, Father. We just thank you for all you've done and all the safety we've had. In Jesus' name, amen.